Diaz is the upcoming full-size commuter motorcycle that is sure to wow the public with its looks, technological features and the power to price ratio. The bike is built around a liquid-cooled PMAC motor with the continuous power rated at 11 kilowatts. The peak power of this motor reaches 58 kilowatts and 86.7 pound-feet of peak torque. The liquid cooling system prevents motor overheating. As a result, it can sustain regular electrified sprints all the way to the top speed of 83 miles per hour. Battery of this model deserves attention too. It's a 16.6 kilowatt hour unit, good for 95 miles of riding at the speed of 75 miles per hour or up to 261 miles of riding at the speed of 31 miles per hour. These range estimations are quite impressive, considering that the model has a carrying capacity of 570 pounds. The bike's standard 3.8 kilowatt onboard charger will restore the 100% charge in about four hours. This Texas-based startup specializes exclusively in developing all-terrain capable electric vehicles, either with two or four wheels. Their first model is a rugged motorcycle that rides on two huge chunky tires, offers 12 inches of ground clearance, comes with a premium off-road suspension. The Grund gets an IP67 waterproof electric motor that peaks at 50 horses, 75 pound-feet and comes paired with a swappable battery pack good for up to 100 miles. The bike offers three riding modes, speeds to 60 miles per hour and takes six seconds to accelerate to this maximum velocity. Later this year, this American manufacturer is planning on bringing a smaller version of the Grunt motorcycle. This two-wheeler will bear the Runt nameplate and be suitable for riders of younger generations. Its specifications will shrink in size too. The e-motor will produce 45 pounds feet of torque and have 35 miles per hour top speed capabilities. The energy to the motor will be supplied via a lightweight 60 volt battery, good for 35 miles of riding. The battery packs are swappable and are sent to last up to 1000 charge cycles without losing the capacity. This electric motorcycle manufacturer is already popular in the close-knit community of EV fans, mainly because its first e-bike model calls the Project Zero. If you have somehow missed this one, here is a quick recap. It has neo-retro styling and follows the in-house elegance in motion design philosophy. The motorcycle offers 143 miles of range and is driven by a 40 horsepower motor. The startup prides itself on developing the Yatri Hub application that connects the 7-inch Full HD dashboard to your smartphone. We must mention that the bike was originally scheduled to start its first 50-unit production run in 2020, but has now been postponed to sometime in 2021. Now the manufacturer is bringing their second model called the Project One. Project One is a dual-sport motorcycle model powered by a 14-kilowatt electric motor and 3-kilowatt hour battery pack. Such powertrains specifications enable it to last up to 68 miles on a charge and show electrified sprints to the top speed of 60 miles per hour. The manufacturer takes great pride in their battery technology. Their packs support fast charge stations that will top up the battery in 40 minutes. They are also said to last for 75,000 miles without losing more than 20% of the original capacity. Triumph motorcycles seem to be following the footsteps of Harley-Davidson, Yamaha, Kawasaki, as well as various e-bike startups by unveiling their vision of a motorcycle of tomorrow. The Triumph TE1 name was chosen to describe the brand's collaboration with Williams Advanced Engineering and a handful of companies specializing in the field. The joint efforts were aimed at creating an innovative electric motorcycle powertrain and battery pack. Over the course of the project's two-year existence, the phase two of development was reached. The results of the development were successful enough to notify the public about it. As a result, Triumph Motorcycles have unveiled the first design sketches of the model alongside the battery, vehicle control unit, and powertrain prototypes. 
The bike's battery module architecture was developed in a way that redistributes the mass within the chassis and keeps the center of gravity low. The tests of the developed battery packs have yielded the results that exceed most of current offerings in terms of power and energy density. At the end of phase two, the prototype will also receive a fully operational motor with advanced silicon carbide switch technology on the inverter. Such new technology will enable the motor to achieve the output 180 horsepower while keeping its weight below 23 pounds. This presentation is a part of an ongoing series that highlights the latest electric motorcycles and e-bike news. Don't forget to subscribe to be the first to get notification about the most recent changes in the field and check previous episodes in case you missed any. Despite already having an extensive e-motorcycle lineup and some of the best electric powertrains in this class, Zero Motorcycles keeps innovating and producing new bike models. FXE is their latest creation. In terms of looks, Zero FXE greatly resembles a concept that was created a couple of years ago. The bike's platform remained mainly unchanged compared to previous generation FX models. The powertrain specifications are as follows. An e-motor with 34 kilowatts of peak power and 78 pound-feet of torque, a 7.2 kilowatt hour battery pack with fast charging capabilities, clutchless direct drive transmission. With the curb weight below 300 pounds, this model shows zippy acceleration from the start and is capable of reaching the top speed of 85 miles per hour. The manufacturer's range estimations show 100 miles of city riding and 40 miles of highway commuting. The technological package for this model includes front and rear LED lights, a 5-inch color screen, and a smartphone application with riding mode controls. Ever since the launch of their debut model in 2013, this Italian company has been making confident steps towards making better motorcycles. Last year, they upgraded all three models in their lineup with a new 21.5 kilowatt hour battery option, offering up to 143 miles in a combined cycle or 250 in the city. This year, the manufacturer announced two more critical updates. The first update concerns the introduction of the RS Performance lineup. All motorcycles with the RS badge received better acceleration capabilities. Now 0 to 60 miles per hour time is just 2.6 seconds. They also boast faster charging, 4.3 inch TFT color display dashboard, Regina 525 O-ring chain, traction control, park assistant and cruise control as standard. The second update concerns the announcement of the new motor unit. The new generation EMCE motor and inverter now share a liquid cooling system, have greater thermal efficiency and are 22 pounds lighter. New motor design also increased the output to 126 kilowatt and offers a range boost between 5 and 10 percent. Although the Harley-Davidson Livewire is by no means a new bike, the manufacturer launched a significant update that is worth mentioning. For the 2021 model year, the motorcycle is to be offered as a part of the separate sub-brand and comes with the Livewire 1 nameplate. It also receives two color scheme options and, most importantly, a significantly cheaper price. Other than that, the technical specifications of the bike will mainly remain the same. So the model is equipped with the best components in the business, like Showa suspension, Brembo brakes, seven riding modes, Michelin Scorcher sports tires, and Reflex defensive rider systems. Its Revelation electric motor makes 105 horses and 86 pound feet, which converts to 3 seconds, 0 to 60, and 110 miles per hour maximum velocity. In the cautious city cycle, the live wire will cover 146 miles and around 95 miles on the highway. Plus, it is compatible with level 3 DC fast chargers.
Electric motorcycles are usually associated with daring designs and unconventional engineering approaches. White Motorcycle Concepts follows the same path in order to develop a new motorcycle design that will greatly improve aerodynamic efficiency of battery-powered motorcycles. This year, the company unveiled their first prototype. It has a streamlined design with a giant air duct going through the center. Such design is said to reduce drag by 70%, thus improving the range. At the current stage of its development, WMC 250 EV is powered by a four-motor powertrain in a 15-kilowatt lithium-ion battery pack. By having two motors in each wheel, the bike received two-wheel drive capabilities and an efficient regenerative braking system. At the moment, combined powertrain output is set at 100 kilowatts. Even though this is plenty of power for a 660-pound bike, the power output is very likely to grow in the future, as the company have the ambitions to set the 250 miles per hour speed record. Super Soko refreshes its entire lineup for the 2021 model year and brings an all-new version of the TS commuter bike labeled Street Hunter. This is the most powerful bike from the brand to date, but in Soko's case, this means just three horsepower generated by the rear wheel hub motor. The torque parameter at the wheel is somewhat livelier and reaches 133 pound-feet, while the top speed is capped at 46 miles per hour. The TS Street Hunter can be equipped with two removable batteries that store enough juice for 120 miles of riding. The Street Hunter is not the only model that received updates for the 2021 model year. The Super Soko TC Wanderer got a redesigned exterior and tech updates identical to the Street Hunter. Just like its predecessor, TC Wanderer has the recognizable retro cafe racer features. It received new rounded dual beam LED headlights, a semi-digital instrument console update, and a small fly screen. Now it'll be offered in four color variations. Priced at $115,000, the one from Alabama Curtis Motorcycles is one of the most expensive motorcycles out there. The fat price tag is being justified by the 15-unit exclusivity, lots of proprietary tech, and the highest end components from the segment leaders. The one is built on the company-developed triple load path monocoque where the battery acts as a structural element and a load-bearing member. The suspension features modular carbon fiber girders and fully adjustable race tech monoshocks front and rear. The bike's powertrain system is built around a 16.8 kilowatt hour pack that feeds the most energy dense motor on the market. It's able to produce 217 horses and 272 pound feet, though in the one, it is restricted to 120 horsepower and 147 pound feet peak output. Thanks for being with us today. We will be waiting for you in the comments section to discuss today's episode and hear you out about the future topics that should be reviewed on this channel. As mentioned before, support electric vehicles by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel. You can also check out the rest of our electric content by following the links on the screen. Laters.